To help us create a more detailed model, there are a number of tools in ARCAD that help you put framing members in your roof, for example. So while I've got the roof tool selected, I might just go Control or Apple A to select all the roof, all the roofs in this case, and click on the Design drop-down, Design Extras, Roof Maker. Now I can create individual elements of a roof, or if I click on the roof wizard, I can do it all at once. I can change the width and height of each rafter, the spacing of them, and the minimum distance between the rafters. And there's a couple of options, other options there. How it's displayed in 2D, and I can put a soffit on it if I like. I might just leave that as 20 degrees. Um, beams, might make that 3500, leave that there. The width of it and the height of those particular collar beams, purlins, it's just a matter of working through each tag and getting them all how you want them. And if you push OK, Arcad's doing all the work. It's placing and creating all those rafters and framing members. Now, while the roof's still selected, I'm going to go Control or Apple A, Shell Roof, and that's the layer at the moment. I'm going to click this icon here, which will make the roof go into wireframe. So we can only see that in the 3D window. So I'm just going to deselect the roof now by clicking outside the building into the white space. So if I left mouse click there, deselects the roof. Then click on the 3D icon and we can see all our 3D elements with the roof in wireframe. You can see the soffits there, 20 degrees. So now I want to cut a cross section through it. It's obviously going to be fairly accurate. I'm just going to close that window now and go Control Apple Z. I can also grab a polygon of that roof and do the same thing, design extras, roof maker and create multiple rafters. I have the same sort of tool palette. Now once again I'm just going to push OK. Now I'm going to accept that and I have to draw a line through the roof and click up into the roof and then it'll place all the rafters as we've set up in that dialog box. Now, once again if I click on the 3D window we can see all those. I can click on the rafters and we can see all the rafters at the moment are in wireframe. We just put it on the same layer as the roof.